Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Super Scroll Build-A-Figure wave of Fantastic Four Marvel Legends, Invisible Woman. And they totally dropped the ball. Like, I can freaking see her! <laughs> oh, that was a good one. I wasn't planning that joke, and I instantly regretted saying it as I started saying it, but I had to keep saying it. No, this one's actually, of the mediocre wave, of the mediocre figures in this wave, this one's one of the better ones. It's not anywhere near on par with Doctor Doom, for instance, but it's a freaking good enough Sue Storm. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This figure stands just over six and a quarter inches, which makes it just about 16.25 centimeters. And just for a quick scale comparison, I'm gonna compare her to Gambit. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing this until the sale's over. This guy's head is up for sale right now from January 1st through the 15th. There's a link in that video up there, or there's a link to the video up there to buy the head if you're interested in putting a head on Gambit that doesn't look like butts. All right, back to this figure. I wanna just point out right now, this is my favorite Sue Storm figure out of all of them ever, personally. And objectively, it's about average. There's nothing special about it. We've seen almost all of this body before. Um, her, her breasticles are fairly sizable on this figure and she's got some cakes, but she's got super skinny limbs, like especially her legs. So it's not the worst one we've ever seen. Uh, I'm getting tired of honestly talking about the, uh, the boobages and the butts on the figures, but it's not my fault that Hasbro won't sculpt women figures to look like the women in the comics. It's not my fault. But it doesn't look bad is what I'm getting at. Of the ones we've seen that are too skinny and look like teenagers, this one doesn't look too bad. Her legs are definitely too skinny, but the rest is okay is what I'm getting at. But the thing I like most about this figure is her face. They did a pretty nice job with it. She maybe looks a little bit too young compared to this version of her in the comics, but I think it's all right. It's a pretty nice job. Like the sculpt is good. The hair is well done. The paint job's well done. I, I am all for that. And people, let's do this real quick. Because a lot of people told me that, that this face looked good. No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Look at those two. One of them looks pretty. One of them looks like a demon trying to steal my soul. That's this one. We're gonna set that aside. This one looks really nice. I'm very pleased with it. The chest four looks pretty good. The blue paint around the body looks pretty good. I'll take it. Uh, I think all of the female figures from now on that are supposed to have heels that just keep getting flat feet because they're hard to pose should just get shoes like this. Just like the ones they did for Black Widow in the Avengers movies. Just give them these kind of wedgie type shoes. That way they still have the look of high heels but can actually be posed. Her feet aren't anywhere near as oversized as Mr. Fantastic so that's a good thing. This one's pretty solid. Overall I'll give this one an 8. It's, it is not bad looking. Especially the hair and the face. Very nicely done. As far as her accessory goes, I think this is the first decent Invisible Woman accessory we've ever gotten. It's her Invisible Shield. And it looks freaking good. Look how nice and clear that is. It's a little more clear on camera than it is in person. But that's good. Like, that's exactly what that should look like. See how simple it is to make things that are nice? How easy it is to make me happy? It takes almost no effort. Almost no effort. That is a good accessory for Invisible Lady. And Hasbro did a good job. That's it though, so I'm only gonna give her like a seven. I mean, that's the only accessory we have. It's a little bit underwhelming in that sense, but as far as that individual accessory, very nicely done. I like it a bunch. On to the articulation. Do we have a lollipop? It looks like we don't. The head is definitely at the right placement, so how's it pose? If we look up, the hair gets in the way, but it does look up still a little bit. That's fine, it can look down. Oh yeah, there's a lollipop in there, but you can't really get to it. So yeah, it does look down, but don't do that. Full rotation, that's fine. The hair is up off the shoulder. No attitude, but still. Love that head sculpt and that hair. Why don't... Why aren't they more consistent? Like, it doesn't cost any more to make the figure have a good head sculpt as opposed to a bad one. Unless they just have some people that suck at it and they pay them less. <laughs> Maybe that's how it works. I don't know. Arms go all the way out to the side. Full rotation, that's good. Uh, still a single jointed arm though, elbow, with the rotation in there. Not even, well, I mean, you get 90, but that's it. So definitely still limited in that regard. Wrist, swivel, and hinge. Is this one of the good diaphragm joints? Please be one of the good diaphragm joints. I love a good diaphragm joint. It's one of the decent ones. Yeah. It's not the best one, but it's, it's really good. 
full range basically. Love it, love it, love it. Very nice. Hips, still very limited, unless you go up, but even then they still don't go out to the side very far. Not that she needs to do more than that, but it's still something that they could easily fix. Just bring that joint farther out with inside the upper thigh area, and you'll get better range. And you won't get that pinched in look either. Yeah, they could definitely do better. Plus, they're kind of floppy. Going forward is fine. No problem at all. She kicks pretty high. Going back is okay. Thigh swivel is fine. Double jointed knee is a fine double jointed knee. Ankles go all the way back and all the way forward. And you get a decent enough ankle rocker. They could have seated the foot a little lower to get a better angle on that, but it's okay. Given that it's a higher heel, that is fine. So articulation on this figure gets a seven. Nothing special, but nothing really bad other than the elbows being limited. So yeah, this one's solid. I am I am very pleased with this. It's not an impressive figure necessarily, but it is perfectly good. And it is definitely, as far as I can tell, the best looking Sue Storm figure by far. I'm gonna give this one an eight, overall an eight. I like the accessory, I like the head a whole bunch, and there's nothing else that really brings it back for me. So this one's my favorite. I didn't even think I was gonna like it that much, but uh, cause I couldn't care less about Sue Storm, honestly. Like all of the Fantastic Four is not my thing. I like Doctor Doom, I don't like the heroes of those comics, but it's fine, it's good. I love that invisible bubble thingy in the head. Get this one for sure, guys. I like it. This one, if you get this one, I guess you probably should build the whole team. And if that means the only way to buy this for you is to buy the whole team, then just put up with bad Mr. Fantastic and mediocre thing. But you want this one for sure. So go ahead and get it. You have my blessing. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy this video, then make yourself like this lady and disappear. <laughs> That's two good jokes in one video. And if you haven't subscribed, you probably should because I have new videos just about every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.